So, hello everyone. Time course another first impression here. We're gonna watch on Romeo and Juliet, right? But in anime and in space, something. No, but the premise. This anime is pretty good, I think. Could be one of the best anime season. It's about you know a hot female, right? Fucking this hot guy, and they have some powers, and they're gonna fall in love, even though they are mortal enemies. So it's kind of like a yeah, you know, typical Romeo and Juliet, but they're actually in a fight, gets sort of with their powers, not just like being into the families. Um, yeah, that's kind of what I know. But it's not a good anime, yeah. Let's start watching it. Let's, let's go. Three, two, one, and go. And um, it's a Titan. That was a really good chapter. It's a very good chapter, actually. One of my favorites. Yeah, they were like, we can do this shit. They are like, ah! I was like, oh, man. <laughs> that was a... Oh, that, that was a really good one. Spoiler. That's a really good part. Was, the, the ending. Not the ending, but like the, the part of... Almost the ending was really good. The ending actually was a bit weak, it was weak but it was like... Just before the ending, there was a part where two characters were like, we have an ID, <laughs> whatever. Uh, okay, so this is hot, very hot, very baby, yeah. Very, very babe. She has some kind of, yeah, some kind of, I don't know, angel tattoos, maybe something, wing tattoos. Maybe she can fly. Mm, there's two, yeah, two different countries in a war, right? And they are like the f strongest fighters or something. Never ending war, and they are like some amazing warriors, and they're gonna fall in love or something. She got huge op eyes. <laughs> She's walking, we gotta see them. Yeah, they're, they're massive, yes. Yes! Our last crusade of the Rise of the New World, the crusade will change. That's a super long name. Um, one year earlier, okay, so we're gonna have this whole. He's like in prison here, though. That's about how they beat them. Maybe she. Maybe she's a hostage, right? The witch. Okay, there's another girl now. Another pink haired girl. Here we go. Maybe she had pink hair, but she was younger. Okay, yeah. It's like high tech. But they also have swords. Kind of fantasy star feel to it, I suppose. Yeah, I mean that's you know, high tech, right? But it's like a it's a kind of I guess, suppose, in general. Yeah, like it's like a high tech doors, but it's like a freaking katana. So, it... okay, and a cracker, a very good gift here. I feel. <laughs> yeah, here's a few yen and like a cracker. It's like, thank, thank you. You can survive on this one cracker. Oof, it's a lot of meat in that one. Okay, save, sir. Maybe he's like a. Maybe he doesn't like what they're doing to the poor young girls. I guess he was like a some kind of traitor, probably. Yeah. So I guess they're like crusaders, one country, another country are witches, probably. I know he yeah he saved some cute witch girl. Hundred years war. If it's a great crime, why is he free already then? Oh, okay. It's like you can fight her or something. Astro Natures. They changed name or something? <laughs> they were like, we wanna be mages and witches. This is clearly his love interest. The pure breed uh, witch here, yeah. The Empress something. The princess. The princess witch, right? Yeah, it's clearly the strongest witch right there. Um, ice witch, ice calamity. I wonder why they would trust this guy. That doesn't make any sense. He saved a witch last time and they're like, yeah, let's let let's him out and fight them instead. Wouldn't he probably betray them and join the witch side? There's no way we would release Traitor out. That is like a huge issue in the story. <laughs> in the premise wise, why would they let him out if he's your help to which earlier? Why would you trust him to fight them? He would just probably join them purple, you know, and change side, right? He would probably desert probably. There's no way I would trust this guy to go and fight my enemies if he saved them last time. Oh, here we go. Assets. Here we go. Assets. Very good. Hi, hi. Okay, here, and I feel the enemy starts now with the assets there. It's a kind of weird gun, I guess, on his back. Okay. 
your eyes are like it's weird eyes, yeah, it's like a line and a dot down into it, what? But yeah, that they said letting this uh, trait you guy out to fight the one he saved last time doesn't seem to make any sense. Even if he's like super powerful. Hmm. Yeah, so there's some kind of like they have cars and stuff, but also swords. Military jeep kind of thing. <laughs> and they bounce! I don't know, this is a good anime! Yeah, she up up and it's like Rurunk! He's like an earthquake when she leaves up there. Oh, it's like a little young girl probably. That's the captain. <laughs> it is the captain! The clumsy girl with huge op eyes. Now she fell down. Same old captain, yeah, this appeared to the captain, the, the clumsy girl with gigantic uh, floaters, yeah. You, no, you're shorter. No, you're shorter. Yeah, she's just she's super tiny. <laughs> what is this? All at 22 though. I should have same eyes with her, like it's kind of weird. They all had the last thing about it. Like a line and then it goes down the middle. Yeah, special defense for humankind. So I guess these are, yeah, these, these are humans. The evil witches are the other side then. They have probably technology then, I guess, the, the humans. Versus uh, witch magic, right? And have some kind of military heap and so on. Yeah. A pure breed. It's gonna be a babe. Come on. It's gonna be a hot baby I fall in love with. It's gonna be the hottest baby ever. He's like, whoa, a pure breed. It's gonna be, come on. How is she the captain? I understand how she's the captain. He's like, oh my god, I'm nice. You come on with the witch. I don't wanna be here. How is she a captain? She's the most afraid of everything. And she's super clumsy and shit. Yeah, how, how is she the captain? Oh, Jubel. A Sukkot M2 reference, perhaps. Yeah. Yeah, he, I guess he's the best guy to have, right? For some reason. That's why they're him out, because he's the strongest person ever. But he still betrayed him, so why wouldn't you have to wish? I don't know, I mean, I to try to ignore that, but it's like... Even if he's the strongest person they have, they should still expect him to join the witch side, because he did earlier, so why would they let him out? It would be even more dangerous to let this traitor guy out if he's the strongest guy they have, because he'd probably join the witch side and he'd be even stronger with them, right? So it's like, I would just not let him out. Man, I'm not gonna be dropped that. I'm not gonna have to drop that, because this seems insane to me. But well, he's clearly into witches. Who wouldn't be? But I mean, he's clearly a kind of pacifist deep down. A technical pacifist, yeah. <laughs> he's a kind of technical pacifist. Come on, uh, clearly. He wants it to be peace on me. But I, I want to see the witches now. Come on, man. I want to see this stupid military human army. I want to see the hot witch girls. And yeah, she keeps hugging him. It's like it's her thing. Oppa attacks. I feel it has to be a fight sooner, right? Yeah, I mean, I'm guessing the witches are gonna attack this reactor or something, and they're gonna be some kind of battle, right? I wanna see the anime's battles, see how they are, you know, combining their powers or whatever. Those ningens. Okay, she's an engineer, okay. Um. Yeah, seems to be like a cycle, okay, so they build reactors, it's probably some explanation that they're building reactors and they're destroying the plan or something, right? 
So the witches are like, no, you are ruining the plan with your evil, you know, Mako reactors that destroy them. And then they attack them and then they defend it, right? Uh, something like that. That's probably how it is. So would they make the wish they sell tea? I accept that. Probably. The Asians, yeah. That's probably how it combines, right? Hmm. Yeah, but I wanted some action. I wanted, I was in the witch girl. This is probably the least interesting part of it of the anime. You've seen them in the jeeps and shit. I, I want to see the romance. Oh, here we go. Maybe. No, it's just branches. I wonder how she's a captain though. She's so meek. How is she the captain? She's like, oh my god, Nelly Shaw, you're killing me with this How is she the captain? She's afraid of everything and everything. Yeah, there's a protector too. Because he's probably gonna explode his deep or something. Here come the witches. Here we go, here come the witches. And the captain didn't. How is she the captain? She was at the least unaware of them attacking her. Like, what? The enemy's here? Yeah, she should be, she should be completely lost, this girl. Maybe she's amazingly powerful if she actually fights someone. The captain seems to be completely useless. <laughs> but how she's a leader? Like, here we go. Here we go. Now we're gonna fight it. This is doing an episode sort of it. Okay, yeah, he was a kind of medical sword, perhaps? Or is it, is it technology? Because a sword at least. Oh, yeah. The witches. How is she the boss? <laughs> I don't understand how she's the captain! Okay, he goes to kind of anti astral wind magish. Why do you call them astral for? I don't know why they're astral. How are they? Oh, earth magish, you guys? And the ambush here. But these are all generic magic stuff. They're clearly very weak. <laughs> they all have the same clothes. They're clearly very weak. These are like nobodies, clearly. They're like no-name characters. They're gonna be owned by him. Okay, so they need to own them with her. Okay. So she's a, an engineer. She's gonna fight with, I don't know, technology, I guess? Yeah, like she's like, I don't know, <laughs> an alchemist maybe? Ah, oh, there she is. There's a real character we wanna see. And her maid there. Who cares about this general of these people, like they're level one people? Okay. Yeah, see, he's a technical pacifist. He's not, he's not, so it's gonna kill the other one, so it's knocked him out, right? Yeah, technical pacifist, look at this. He's gonna knock her out too. He's, like, he's a too nice guy, guy. Exactly. He's like Ichigo. <laughs> they have felt very, very bleachy when he's like, bam, he's not to this girl. Yeah, he's a very the technical pacifist. He's gonna knock them all out. But how is she the captain? <laughs> I keep saying this thing, but she didn't do anything. She was like, oh my god, protect me. <laughs> how is she the leader? Why, 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 why did they have this girl? She did for like morale support or something. Uh, but here we go. I guess the princess will come now. This might be the maid though. This is, the maid is probably, because the princess is the ice, right? She's, yeah. So this is like the earth magician, I guess, and the, her servant, her handmaiden. Her best friend, probably. And all that's combined, right? Oh, the poor golem! Oh! <gasps> It's a little bit harder, yeah, when she's gonna face that. Here we go. Okay, very short board, yeah. Very short pencil dark kind of style of it, in animation. Hmm. Yeah, who's the ice mage? Yeah, that's clearly the he's gonna fall in love with. Yeah, that's clearly the main girl.
It's pretty, yeah, it's pretty animated there, pretty good animated. It has all the in detail there. I mean, they're very short frames though, but. Yeah, who the heck are you? Imperial dogs, yeah! Oh my god, she's doing the. <laughs> no! A girl attack! Oh my god! But he's too much of a pacifist. He's not gonna hurt anyone. Like, he's just gonna. He's too much of a nice guy, this character. Ice magic, yeah, yeah. She's walking in, right? And he's like, everything's freezing. So she has the ultimate ice power. Yeah. Ice. Here we go. It's gonna be his love, his first life. Come on, it's gonna be his true love here. She got massive op so of course, she's gonna. Who wouldn't fall in love with her? God damn, pure breeds. The reactor is clearly going to be attacked by her. Um... Oh man, it's like a Shiva thing, yeah. She's like, mm. <laughs> shatter, yeah, here we go. And he is a side type. He's got, he's got fired from being a side. He he's supposed to be about to say he's got fired right from his job there. He just lost his title, yeah. But he's the youngest one they ever had, right? He's like the most talented. Uh... This is how they fall in love with. My name is Alice Les. You're Iska. Oh yes. Okay, so I can Oh! Yeah, it's not a sword, can I do? That looks more like a magical sword, right? The other sword looks more magical, like more technology. Like they might have some in interior, I don't know. It's getting owned right now, though, but. This is what bring up, I guess. Here we go. It's gonna summon its own sword! So is that like a magic? Can he use magic then? Because they are like you. Maybe he can copy her magic with his sword. Yeah, it's a sword's power, right? It's like a magic or sword, he can probably copy magic or something like that. She creates a huge ice shield. <gasps> he was something for too! He's also a pacifist? Oh my god. Now this boy's interested in her. Oh, here we go. She's gonna fall for him now. Come on, clearly. <laughs> so persistent! <laughs> He's got a sword here. No, I don't like this guy, yeah. Yeah, so her dream is an everlasting peace. It's not almost even though. It's like, I wanna have everyone in peace. It's like, with my eye. Oh, he's gonna have to come and grab her. Gonna, you know, she's falling. He's gonna, you know. <laughs> here we go. Here's a, you go, grab, grab. Here we go. This guy, they fall in love here. He's gonna, have to, you know, save her. Daishobu, Himishama. Yes, thank you. Here we go. And she's super pretty. Here we go. It was a reflex! Yeah, here we go! You perv! <laughs> here we go, yeah. Uh, but later, it's fine. Oh, no, 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 It's gonna be all. Oh, oh since I'm a huge bird? <laughs> okay, why not, I guess? She's a magician. But here we go, it's gonna go all like Sundra. Oh my god! Yeah. Stupid boy! <laughs> yeah, don't save me! Yeah, of course. Ah, oh, man. That felt so cliche. It was cute, but it felt so cliche. That. 
that he's gonna fall down into his arms when he stands here. I'm like, oh, I can save her. Oh my god, that felt. Uh, it was cute, but also uh, it was so predictable. Of course, he's gonna fall into his arms and be all like, oh my god. It's a pure breed after all. So what did they actually do? They left and didn't protect the place of warrior? I don't know what they did. Yeah, why, why, why did, what did they manage to do by leaving? Oh, it's gonna be a fan service now? Yes, it's gonna be fan service! Wholesome anime! Whoa, her, she's massive on me and it's only protected here by her hair, of course. Yeah, like we need this in anime. Oh, I have a bat here. Yeah, why, why not? <laughs> so a little fan service there too. Nice! Whoa, this is almost like some, some censorship. Oh, man. It suddenly went very fan service -y. Yeah, she has the same desire, right? To save the... stop the war and... Everyone live in peace and so on. They both want some kind of... <laughs> oh man, I can only hear an angry... <laughs> an angry goddess with that. Yeah. Oh, tragic love of female night Beatrix. Man, I can only hear any other such a thing. Definitely. Oh, she even is into this whole uh, Romeo and Juliet. The falling, the falling love with an enemy. <laughs> yeah, just, oh man, she wants it. She really wants that evil enemy knight. Yeah, she wants his sword. Yeah, she really wants that sword. That, that's something. See the air somehow now? I don't make any sense to be there, but. Who, but the Soma gave her some handkerchief, there. yeah, who's there? Who, it's gonna be a guy, she, it's gonna be him, right? But it doesn't make any sense, I guess, if he was there. Yeah, yeah, like how would it be in the same place? On the head of war? Yeah, well, how would he be here? That doesn't make any sense. Yeah, how would he be here? That doesn't make any kind of sense! Is it already in a war? Why would it be the same theater for? Huh? Are they? Yeah, that doesn't... How do you get... How is he in that theater? It's in different countries. I mean, it's obviously gonna be him because it's so predictable. This is... This is the girlfriend all over again. Yeah, like Jesus Christ. It's rent a girlfriend all over again. <laughs> it's like stars align. Oh, she's gonna meet him at... Uh... Yeah, of course she is. Um... No, but I mean, I, mean, I, I, I can only keep hearing the girlfriend. I mean, of course, it's Sora that does the voice. It does our princess. Of course, it's our goddess that does the voice. But I mean, um, I wonder how they're going to spend this thing in the end there. How are they going to spend this thing in the end? Of course, it's going to be there. So, it, it, so this is like around the girlfriend all over again. This uh, Every star's aligned and it's like, oh, the boy, she's in love with her. Oh, to be the with her? Yeah, it feels like I'm watching around the girlfriend again here. Sora doing another, you know, oh, they're also a roommate or something, and they go to the same class in in some way. <laughs> but when she was angry at him, I, yeah, I mean, of course, like Aqua, but also, when, you know, when um, she showered at him, yeah, she showered at me, she showered at she was like, ah, oh, god damn it, you stupid boy. Yeah, when she was on Sundra, I felt lots like her there. Um, but this scene, they had, this is gonna be, I don't know, hard to explain next week, I feel, because why are they also in the same theater? Or aren't they having like a war? Something like that, or it's like a neutral city. Why would they be in the same, you know, would they live in two different countries? They were fighting in some kind of border. Like, why would they be able to go to the same theater? Um, of course, they both love this, uh, you know, romance between a knight and a witch, right? They're both into this, like, uh, yeah, they both love this <laughs> the Romeo and Juliet uh, <laughs> love story. They both love that, of course. But man. Yeah, when she was angry at him, when she went to Sundra, I can only hear, uh, the, I was thinking about episode 1 and the girlfriend, definitely. It was the latest thing I heard, but you know, it's Sora, definitely, definitely. But, um, <laughs> it is feels like, <laughs> this really now feels to me like, again, like with the girlfriend, because it's like, oh, they're super, oh, they happen to be at the same theater? <laughs> she happens to fall into his arms? <laughs> it really feels like that. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's, it's love at first sight, right? She She's clearly into the whole idea that being a witch and seducing this enemy knight, and it's clearly her dream, right? So, of course, she's gonna be all thirsty for him. Um, 
I think the episode was pretty stale in the first 10 minutes though, but then, then yeah, I think definitely. As I said, the first 10 minutes were pretty stale, I felt, right? Because, oh, here's the character, or here's a jeep or something, and you kind of drive a little bit. That felt very stale, right? But it's kind of when they started fighting, she arrived, she, you know, they had, they had pretty good animation, I guess they're her maid too, right? And then they, you know, they're falling in love, and she's like, oh my god, you're perfect, I kind of like you, boy, as well, Sundra and so on. That felt, yeah, that felt like absolutely started when when that happened, right? If we go back to that scene, when she fall into his arm, yes, it was, of course, it could be predictable. It was super predictable, though, but what if she falls down? Uh, and, yeah, of course, he lands in his arm, right? Thank you. Yeah, and she's all like, Oh, my God, you purr! Oh, let me down, let me down! Yeah, like, oh, my God, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> God damn, it's the boys! Yeah. No, ah, what, 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 Yeah, like, then this is here. This is when the episode Patrick really started, right? When you got into this moment. Here, I felt, okay, now, now we're talking, right? Now we're talking, now we're getting into this romance thing, and... Yeah, t- touching her, you know, opais and whatever. Yeah. Oh my God! You, you grabbed my oh, my my asset saw. Oh my God! Yeah. Oh my God! You're perfect. And then we say after, she's like, oh, that stupid boy unite. I mean, I don't like him or anything. <laughs> yeah. And she gets all sundered over that. I mean, I, stupid boy. So yeah, like that. Nah, there, I feel that's really sort of right. It's kind of expected, right? Yeah. So the first ten minutes felt a little boring, and the last ten minutes were really good. So, uh, kind of. The uh, problem is the first ten minutes. They really didn't explain that well, the backstory. They really didn't explain the world. Like, how can they be in the same theater? So it's a little strange. It should probably be more explicit the first minutes there. And also, why is that girl a captain? She seems to be so useless. Like, she's so useless, right? So useless. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, it's another goddess, a goddess princess which It really felt like met the girlfriend though. How she met him again there. <laughs> yeah. If he's more than a girlfriend than anything. Yeah. Rent the girlfriend season two. Here we go, guys. Um, but yeah, that's it for today, guys. Uh, subscribe and slap button so you get some more of the course uh, when they cry and all the new anime, Akuma Dry, right? And she's down for the impression. Uh, this anime we have to watch more, of course. It's cute, you know. I mean, it's, it's a goddess. It's the greatest female character. It's the greatest female voice ever. So, of course, we have to watch more of the anime. Um, and also, but it felt really a lot like Red Girlfriend when she met him in the theater. I was like, wow, this is the stars aligned again here. They happen to love the same play. They happen to live next door or something. They probably go to the same school. <laughs> they probably have the same teachers. Their, their, their grandmas are probably best friends for some reason, right? I was like, oh yeah, I see, I see where it's going. Anyway, see you guys and have a great day.